What's up, YouTube? Apple here, back with my second episode of Apple Look Stuff Up. Um, so today I'm uh, actually going to be focusing on a very important topic that I honestly had no clue about, which makes these episodes really fun for me because um, it gives me an opportunity to look things up that I honestly personally never understood. And so, yeah, um, so today is June 19th. Uh, that's when I'm recording this and that's hopefully when I'll be publishing this to my YouTube. And um, there's a holiday that I honestly, and I, I feel really bad that I never realized this, but uh, it's, it's, it's a holiday known as Juneteenth. Um, and it is a holiday uh, celebrated primarily by black communities um, here in the United States commemorating the emancipation and the um, the freeing of slaves here in the United States. Although it's not necessarily the um, last time that there were slaves, um, it's well shown in history that people still kept their slaves even after this date. And this date is also interesting in that it also isn't when it was formally declared that um, we wouldn't have slaves any longer. So, yeah. Um, so join me on this journey into figuring out what is Juneteenth. Um, again, uh, I've only heard about it, I want to say, maybe a year or two ago. Um, friends of mine on Facebook were saying that they were celebrating it. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. I have no idea what it is. I didn't really think much on it, which thinking back on it was kind of ignorant of me. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's what ignorance is. So, um, unfortunately it's because of what has been happening in the world lately with, um, black people being murdered by our government, by racist, you know, white supremacists and all the rest. And it, um, these tragedies happening, that now we're finally starting to be more well-educated by this, by having uncomfortable conversations with our friends, with our family, um, and ultimately with ourselves. And so, um, yeah, so let's, let's get into it. So I was doing some research on this and thankfully this is not a thing that's really up for debate. Um, I usually try and check multiple sources, which I still did. Um, and, what was nice is that they were all the same. Um, I, uh, the three sources that I'll be linking down below in the comments or in the description, I should say, um, one comes from Wikipedia, which I tend to always go to first, but, um, since it is a community created resource, um, and there has been times where it's been hijacked and, um, information hasn't been as truthful as it could be there. I decided to keep looking. Um, next led me to PBS, another really good uh, public broadcasting service, um, and basically had the same exact thing. And then there was a website I had found called Juneteenth.com. Uh, it's a website celebrating the holiday. And once again, it's all had the same facts. So, um, this made it a lot easier for me. I wasn't, uh, wasn't like my last episode where there was a lot of opinion, um, especially given that it had to deal with psychology. This has to deal with history. Um, and unfortunately there's, it did, did bring to light that there were a lot of historical facts that we don't know, um, for various reasons. And we may never know because I mean, we don't have a time traveling machine and if things, facts were destroyed since then there's nothing we can do about bringing those facts to life so um yeah so let me go ahead and i'm going to read the couple of really good paragraphs um which i believe were the first two paragraphs from the wikipedia um, page about juneteenth so uh, juneteenth which is also known as freedom day jubilee day and liberation day is a Texas state holiday celebrated annually on the 19th of June throughout the United States to commemorate Union Army General Gordon Granger announcing federal orders in the city of Galveston, Texas on June 19th, 1865, proclaiming that all slaves in Texas were now free. Although the Emancipation Proclamation 
had formally freed them almost two and a half years earlier, and the American Civil War had largely ended with the defeat of the Confederate States in April, Texas was the most remote of the slave states with a low presence of Union troops, so enforcement of the proclamation had been slow and inconsistent. A common misconception is that this day marks the end of slavery in the United States. Although this day marks the emancipation of all slaves in the Confederacy, the institution of slavery was still legal and existed in two Union border states after June 19, 1865. Slavery in the United States did not officially end until the ratification of the 13th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States on December 6, 1865, which abolished non-penal slavery in all of the U.S. states and territories. Wow. Um, so from some other sources I had seen, um, there was a, an excellent video that I had seen um, that had talked about this very last sentence in this in this which kind of stuck out with me and it said it abolished non-penal slavery um and in this video there had been discussion about how it was very well known that there were states um law enforcement from those states and back in that time that had targeted black people in order to put them into a prison or penal system and then force labor upon them there. And oftentimes it happened to be that they could be forced into labor on the very plantations that they were freed from. Um, this was very eye opening to me. Um, and yeah, uh, it was kind of like a, I mean, obviously puts a sour taste in your mouth. And honestly, everything that's been happening, all the history I've been learning, um, puts a pretty sour taste in most people's mouths that, you know, we have come a long way, but we have so much further to go in, in this fight for equality and fight for just basic human rights and decency. Um, so yeah, um, so that's Juneteenth for you. Um, and I, I really wish I had known more about this. Um, it's unfortunate we're in a uh, situation now where there's a pandemic going on and uh, I'm sure this is preventing many people who would like to be celebrating this with friends and family um, or in you know parks and just celebrating you know, their freedoms that they have, they've been finally, that they've finally have earned and the freedoms that they continue to fight for. Um, but I hope that this video has been educational, informative, and give you an idea of just how important this is. Um, yeah, uh, it's, it's quite eye opening. Um, I know that I had learned, you know, in high school and middle school, a little bit about the Civil War, but there's just so much details. There's so many things that just seem to be kind of left out um, and allowed to just be skimmed over. And I can't believe that this happens to be one of the things that I was never personally taught uh, growing up and that I had only recently learned about a couple of years ago. Um, and as someone who is in their mid thirties, that's frightening that what is considered to be the oldest holiday celebrated by black people and African Americans here is something I was ignorant of for over 30 years. Um, and it's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. And I'm just really happy to have been able to share this experience of learning about this. Um, with you and I hope that this has been uh, entertaining for you as well. So yeah, um, beyond that, um, I don't have a whole lot else to say about this topic. Um, I do want to say if you have any comments, if you disagree, if you agree, um, if this was eye opening for you, please feel free to leave a comment down below about it. Um, I also wouldn't mind getting suggestions for future episodes, uh, things that you wouldn't mind me looking up and maybe being enlightened on. Um, 
some ideas off the top of my head that I've been thinking of. Um, I have a degree in economics and I have constantly with some of with the now political things going on and um, different ideologies involving socioeconomic policies here in the United States is inevitably going to be coming up. So I plan on doing some episodes with that. Um, a lot of you know I'm a big science um, nerd, so I will probably do an episode on something dealing with physics or chemistry or biology or something along those lines. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, I, if you enjoy my content, consider subscribing. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you didn't like this video for some reason, feel free to hit the thumbs down. It's cool. And uh, yeah, and if you want to have something more to say, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, with that, guys, I am out of here. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day and happy Juneteenth.